is that it does take two to tango, okay? And what I mean by that is the top-down version of this problem, the cynical exploitation of corporate power and state power to shackle the human spirit, I think is only half the issue because that only works if there's a culture that's really willing to buy it up. It only works if there's a populace that's buying up what they're selling. And to me, I think that requires every one of us to look deeply in the mirror and ask ourselves, what is it about us as a people that wants us to bend the knee or that makes us want to bend the knee to the powers that be, that wants us to embrace these new secular religions? And that wasn't quite a problem that I was going to be able to address even through market action in taking on BlackRock or the ESG forces in capital markets. And that's really what, when it dawned on me that there was no better way to drive a cultural revival in America than to successfully, and successfully is an important part of this, but then to successfully run for president. And the whole premise of my campaign is actually to define a national identity, answer the question of what it means to be an American in the year 2023. I do not believe we have a good answer to that question in this country. I'm on a mission to deliver an answer to that question. And my basic premise here is that our absence of that answer, that is the black hole at the center of our nation's soul. That is what allows wokeism and gender ideology and climatism and COVIDism to fill the void. These are secular religions that prey on that vacuum. If we can fill that vacuum with say a vision of national identity that runs so deep that it dilutes these other agendas to irrelevance, that is how we win. And I believe that there isn't a candidate in this field, I believe who's quite up to that challenge. I'm not sure I am either, uh -huh. but I do believe that I'm gonna give it the best shot that we have, which is why I'm running.